Speaking English, seven phrases you can use today. Are you tired of using the same old words to express yourself? Want to learn some new English phrases that you can put into practice immediately? I'd like to call this the month of speaking September. Every week, I'll teach you seven new English phrases and challenge you to use them today in your English. Respond to the questions in the lesson by saying a statement aloud or writing down your own sentence using the new expression. This is the best way to personalize and remember the expressions. So, without delay, here are the first seven phrases. Remember to give a short answer to each question using the phrase yourself. Number one, a pain in the neck. If something is very annoying, you can describe it as a pain in the neck or simply as a pain. Remember, this idiom in context refers to something that bothers or annoys you, not to literal physical pain. For example, going through security in the airport is a pain in the neck. You have to take off your belt, keep all liquids in a bag, take out your laptop. It's so inconvenient. Here's another example. You can get a student visa in this country, but it's a real pain. There are tons of forms to fill out, and the whole process takes at least six months. Now it's your turn to use the phrase. Say something in your own life or experience that is a pain in the neck. Number two. Back to the drawing board or back to square one. If you do a project that tries to accomplish a goal but it isn't successful, then you'll have to go back to the drawing board or back to square one. This means to start over with a new project or attempt because the previous project didn't work. For example, the architect didn't approve the plan for our new house, so it's back to the drawing board. This means I will have to develop a new plan. I will have to start again from the beginning. Here's another example. I thought I'd get the job after my great interview, but I didn't. Now it's back to square one, meaning I'll have to start the job search all over again. Try to use one of these phrases. Talk about a time you had to go back to the drawing board. Number three, call the shots. Someone who calls the shots is the person who makes the decisions. This person has the power to decide things without needing permission or approval from anyone else. For example, I make the money, but my wife is the one who calls the shots when it comes to financial decisions. Answer these questions: Who calls the shots at work? Who calls the shots in your family? Number four, down to the wire. If something is down to the wire, it means there is extremely little time left to finish it before the deadline. For example, the paper was due at four p.m. and I worked on it right down to the wire. I handed it to my teacher at three fifty-five. Describe a time when something you were working on was down to the wire. Number five, have time to kill. To have time to kill means you have extra time before something happens, so you need to find some way to occupy or entertain yourself. For example, we got to the airport five hours early, so we had time to kill before the flight. When was the last time you had time to kill, and how did you occupy yourself? Number six, rack your brain. When you're trying very hard to remember something and having difficulty remembering or thinking of it, you are racking your brain. For example, I racked my brain trying to recall the name of the book. 
When was the last time you racked your brain? Number seven, smooth sailing. Smooth sailing means easy progress without any major problems or difficulties. For example, it was a little tricky finding the right highway, but once we were on it, then it was smooth sailing. This means it was easy to drive to the destination. Talk about a time that a process was smooth sailing. If you want to improve your spoken English, take advantage of this month's special offer. When you buy the Everyday English Speaking Course from Espresso English, you'll get a hundred extra quick conversation lessons from Ello.org. The speaking course will teach you practical phrases for daily life, and the quick conversation lessons will help you understand real, natural conversations by native speakers. This combination is available at a special price only for the month of September. So go check it out.